Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering with Pritam and in this PTC Career Parametric series. In this video, we will talk about ECAD area in PTC Career Parametric. And currently here you can see I am in assembly mode. And before I simply jump into that particular tool and show you how we can add that, I think it is more important to understand what is ECAD area and why we need it. So let's not you know simply jump into the tool let's understand it first ecad stands for electronic computer area design and in ptc creo the ecad area is a specialized region that define the specific zone in your model for electronic component or pcb design you may think of it as a sandbox where you can organize collaborate and optimize the placement of electronic component within mechanical design for example, this is a model part and here at certain location, uh, what I want is I want to place a certain electronic component. So here at certain place, for example, I would like to add electronic component. So that place I can define as ECAD area and defining is pretty easy guys. As I told before, simply we need to click on engineering, then go to ECAD area, select the area and then here uh, we can create a sketch. So let me quickly create here a rectangle of one. Let's say here I would like to add a PCB. And now here we have got these different different options uh, where we can, you know, create a restriction. And as I mentioned before, by creating this restriction, uh, we are letting our mechanical designers know that here is the area where ECAD or, you know, electronic CAD members need to work on. So this feature also, I would say, act as a bridge between MCAD, mechanical CAD, and electronic CAD design words, ensuring seamless integration and fewer design conflicts. So here I have defined that there is a place restriction. And then here we can see we have these three conditions, which I would say are, you know, as usual. Then um, you can define this place as a hatching also. Or let's say you would like to define it as a 3d volume that is also possible so you know you can see we have got all these different kind of permutation and combination available even we can go to side I believe yeah and then you can define or restrict the area that you think that your ECAT team going to work on now all I need to do is I need to hit ok and in this way guys we have defined a designated area for my electronic component in my assembly by defining ecad area you are creating a clear boundary for electronics which help streamline your workflow and i would say this is especially useful when your model or your assembly is full of electronic components now let me go back here to assembly mode and here in assembly mode also i can see uh, the designated area for electronic components so in this way guys by designating ecad area we can ensure that the electronic components do not interfere with mechanical parts which further minimize back and forth iteration between mechanical and electronic team saving valuable time and that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow complete ptc crew parametric series as well as other engineering topics that we cover in this channel and I will see you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.